Hello everyone. Welcome to the service. Today, we say goodbye to Daisy. That's my sister. Call her the Meadow Lady. Silence. But. No no no. I'm going to have to start again now. We are going to do this properly. Every time I hear an interrupting noise, we shall start again. So. I welcome you all to the service. Today we say goodbye to Daisy. A mother, a sister, a child of God. We now have a speech from... Rosie. What? But I'm not closely related to her. I barely know anything about her. Why me? We thought it would be nice. Didn't we, Vanessa? Make a damn speech or I'll flip. So, what can I say about this person? She bloody loved a cheese and onion sandwich from Jizz Cafe. I can tell you that much. She, um, always paid her bills on time, I'm assuming. Hopefully managed to pay her tax. All I know is, is that she didn't have a job. She just worried about having a family of her own. This woman somehow paid for everything easily. But never grafted a hard day's work in her life. She was a naggy woman, but nice. Naggy but nice? Wow. That's a nice oily G. Rosie. Let me finish my improvised speech. I am sure that we will all miss the Meadow Lady massively. But probably not as much as we think since she was an egg. Back to you, Vicar. You disrespectful tart. Anyone else want to make a proper go with that? No? Well, how about we keep this woman's celebration of her life as dignified as possible by finishing up? Amen. Amen. Miss you, sissy. Amen. Goodbye, Mom. Amen. Well, that was a lovely service. It's good we managed to remember Mom. I feel a lot better about her dying now. That funeral helped me move on. It was great. Go and put the kettle on. I want a Moore's Murderer Yorkshire tea. I just want to go and thank Rosie. She's a saint, bless her. Excuse me, are you Vanessa? Yep. That's me. I'm the local police. I found that Justice fella dead on the floor just here last night. Did you kill him by any chance? I'm wondering who did it. I most certainly did. Great. Thanks for being so honest about it. If it's okay with you, can I arrest you and you'll have to go to prison for a bit until your court hearing. Okay, sure. It's great to see this place all lively again. It really does look exactly like the picture Jack gave you. I feel so great that I have managed to reopen this cafe since I ruined it last time. I feel like I have achieved everything I needed to in life. You should be proud of yourself. Anyway, back to me. I am running a campaign so I can be town mayor. Yes, Rosie told me. She said the only reason you are doing this is to stop Deborah from getting it. Is that true? Yeah, why what's wrong with that? Christy, I think you should back off and leave the job alone. You wouldn't know the first thing about being mayor. No way, Henry. That would be like an admitment of wrong. It's a shame. I thought I would at least have your support. But I guess not. Deborah better watch out because everyone else's hate fuels my fire. 